Let's cross live now to Polokwane in Limpopo, where SABC reporter Criselda Lewis is standing by with more. Uh, so, Criselda, it all happens there tomorrow. Well, that's right, Francis. Just a couple of hours now before those uh, more than 120 South Africans evacuated from Wuhan City, the epicenter of uh, the coronavirus will touch down here in uh, Pulukwane. And uh, certainly, uh, you know, according to that package uh, that you indicated is that, uh, you know, the final touches, what we saw earlier on today, were being put uh, to the ranch resort, which uh, a government you saw yesterday announced as the official place uh, where they will be placed under 21 a day quarantine and uh, you know the entire area has been locked down now the media were asked to leave that area several hours ago you know the police are also there there's uh, quite a strong presence of the military as well as the South African police service as was indicated by government earlier that 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 is a no-go area so uh, clearly an indication that uh, much anticipation not uh, just by those who will be getting on that aircraft Francis I understand uh, any time from now about uh, 10 to 15 minutes ago, I managed to get on the line with one of the South Africans who is returning. They're really excited about coming home, uh, but a little bit uh, concerned about some of the sentiments that they've seen online about, uh, you know, uh, certain quarters not happy about them coming to be quarantined in Limpopo, despite government indicating that all the South Africans on board that aircraft are healthy. So uh, right now, uh, all eyes uh, are going to be on uh, that arrival and, of course, how all of that uh, will be handled in this particular province where I am. It has not recorded any case, positive case of uh, the coronavirus. So you have certain quarters uh, uh, that are saying that uh, those South Africans should not be brought here, despite government saying that they're healthy and all the necessary precautions will be taken prior to them even getting on that aircraft and inside that aircraft as well. So, uh, you know, the uh, government has also assured the media that all the necessary talks that needed to be held with those who were uncomfortable, uh, you know, I've, I've, I've sort of gone a long way to allay some of those fears. And I know that uh, uh, my next guest who I'll be speaking to will be participating in talks uh, with the St. Agnes uh, Church uh, tomorrow, as well as the South African Council of Churches on Sunday. You'd know that government has already indicated. You'd know that uh, here in the Limpopo province, for example, uh, Francis, uh, over the Easter weekend, uh, you've got uh, uh, many pilgrims uh, that will be coming uh, to uh, the ZCC church here. And uh, you would only understand that there might might perhaps be some kind of uh, questions that might be raised by the church. So hence uh, these meetings that are scheduled uh, to take place. Let me bring in very quickly Poppy uh, Ramatuba, who is uh, the MEC for Health here in Limpopo. Very good evening to you, MEC. Thanks indeed for your time. I think let me start with, I mean, what measures you've put in place as a province to ensure that it remains this way. You don't in have any cases right now of uh, the coronavirus uh, reported. Uh, evening and evening to, to all your, uh, those who are at home watching us. What we can indicate is that since the outbreak after the WHO has declared this uh, as, a, as a, an outbreak, we, we developed the, the response team uh, as, a, as a province activated our response team, starting with looking at our borders, even if uh, our border post, even if they are inland, you know we've got Bait Bridge, you also know we've got Khorobras uh, Bridge, which is bordering with Botswana. We make sure that even though uh, Port Health is a national competency, but we work with the national to observe that indeed everyone who's entering its screening, we went back to our basics where we screen for fever, for issues of flu like symptoms. We also not only uh, do that, we move to our staff starting to train our staff to begin to understand. Put up a, 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 a Petersburg Hospital as one of those hospitals and prepare spaces in case we have got cases of corona. So we have been uh, working throughout the province but as soon as the first case in South Africa was a reality and was announced by the minister, we had to up our games, try to also start looking at tracer team where we started to train uh, them and also to move on and continue like that. Now, uh, when the minister start to report and up to 16 cases yesterday, we had now to start to even look at uh, bigger churches, as you have indicated, we are moving towards Easter. Not just churches, the sporting facilities, mm -hmm. the marathons that we are going to be having throughout the province. There is one big marathon, a uh, mall of the north, which is coming. We must engage the organizers and find a way as to how 
how do we then uh, be able to 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 address this uh, and and reduce and minimize the risk of course it will be our wish that we remain at zero any uh, decision at this stage on the part of uh, the provincial government, of course discussing with National Health, to perhaps cancel some of those sporting events? I think it's, it's all about consultations. It's all about discussing. We are working closely in our team with the MEC for Sports, Arts and Culture. So in areas that uh, involves the sporting facilities, we are really engaging each other. We have been discussing this issue with her to say, how do we through our uh, inter-ministerial team in the province uh, that, that the, the Premier has recently established to say, how do we uh, address that? Because it's not only the sporting facility. Yes. How do we address with the MEC for transport now? You will see this week we will be uh, rolling out our campaigns towards our bus drivers so that they can understand how to protect themselves and the passengers. So it's all all uh, MECs who are really involved, the MEC of Economic Development. Yeah. We've been moving around uh, the malls. In the f We started with Chinese mall because there's been a stigma uh, which we needed to show our people that uh, being a Chinese is not equivalent to having coronavirus. All right, uh, MEC, we're quickly running out of time. Uh, you know, uh, you are tasked as a province uh, with the mammoth task of uh, housing uh, um, those South Africans who will return from the epicenter of uh, the corona uh, virus outbreak. Uh, government consistent in saying that none of those are ill, but uh, uh, the how are you dealing with some of the dissent in the province? How are you dealing with getting out information uh, to people in this province that... Uh, Perhaps, as the national government says, uh, the national health department says, this is certainly something that must uh, happen. I think we must first appreciate that the manner in which the, the news were uh, broken to the public, it's, it's an unfortunate one that uh, people, citizens of Limpopo, found out through social media. And, and of course, national government uh, did not have enough time to can come and communicate the message to us so that we are prepared. So all of us were shocked when we hear about it. We must appreciate the sensitivity of the condition that media has sensitized it and has exaggerated it to say it's coronavirus. Everybody is scared, is scared. And everybody was saying uh, the pre the, the Minister, the Premier, the MECs are bringing Corona into Limpop. So you expect such react reaction. Now we are saying uh, the National Gab Cabinet was here. They have explained to us the decision to choose Limpopo and the range was done by the military and the military have got expertise and military health. We had questions, including myself, knowing the situation that we, we find ourselves in to say this can be a logistical nightmare. We've been with ministers since Monday evening up until a few minutes ago when we parted with the Minister of Health. So we have been reassured. All the questions that we have have been answered. What I can indicate to the people of Limpopo is to say we are part of South Africa. Those children who are there in China were sent by us as government. We've put a lot of investment on them to go and develop skills so that they can come and develop our country. So let's work together. They are here. Government is reassuring us that they are negative and I believe them. I can wear my cap as a clinician and I say I believe what they've said and, and I can tell you we are getting support from national government. We will work together with everybody. We are still going to visit every street, every corner, every stakeholder and explain to our people because if the commander in chief the president have made a decision and a pronouncement ours as foot soldiers is to implement all right uh, thank you very much indeed for your time this evening the mec uh, of health uh, here in limpopo uh, popim ramatuba uh, saying of course uh, that working hand in hand uh, with uh, the national health department the interministerial uh, committee of course to ensure that all the logistical measures are been put in place so now uh, uh, the final touches have already been put and Francis, the only thing that remains now is uh, to see exactly what takes place uh, tomorrow morning. And uh, I don't think we'll be able to get a glimpse of them, Francis, because uh, it'll be very quick uh, from the airport uh, to the area where they'll be quarantined uh, for 21 days. I'm sure that will be the case. Uh, Chris de Lewis will be there on the ground in Limpopo. Thank you very much. After the repatriated South Africa.